<laughs> okay, guys. Quick as we can, please. Just for the UK press as well, we'll do a uh, huddle outside to preview the weekend's game straight after, okay? Jacob? Uh, just a, a, a brilliant team performance. Uh, I have to say, I think, in two games, uh, we, we're playing a really good, playing a really good team. Uh, I thought tonight we, I thought tonight we had the chance to go two or three up at one point. We probably missed those opportunities, which were really important. But overall, I couldn't fault the players at all. I thought they were fantastic. Their attitude, their effort. Uh, if I was going to go out of Europe, I wanted to go out playing like that. And it was just a, it was a terrific performance against, uh, as I said before, a, a good side. James. David, what were your thoughts on the officiating this evening? Mikel Antonio said that it felt like he was playing against 14 officials at the time, if you include the line and the referee. Well, I think, I think if I asked you people the, the question then, instead of myself, then I'd ask you what you thought of the officiating. If this, this is going to be the end... Do you not answer my question? I, I, it's not my opinion. No, uh, but you, I'm asking you one. What did I you think the of the fans, officiating? The fans made it fairly clear what they thought of the officiating. Uh, were you a fan or were you just reporting? Just reporting. Just okay, then. Um, David, if, if this is the end of your tenure, the end of this season, how do you reflect on... Sorry, no, we I, didn't get that, uh, I didn't get that question. We're focusing like, on tonight. We're not focusing sorry, on the end of tenures. We've just, we've just had a, a third quarter final there tonight. Sorry, I, I didn't well, hear you I, right there. I, I just wanted to re reflect on, on the three years you've had in, in Europe in terms of it's been the end of this journey, but the moments that you've given these fans over the last three seasons? Uh, better question. Uh, I, think it's been, I think it's been much better uh, the way we've, we've been as a football club. Three years in Europe's been fabulous. Three quarter finals. We've won two. Two out of the three quarter finals. Tonight, we came narrowly close to doing it. Uh, I think the supporters here have been treated to big nights, whether it be Altmar, Seville, uh, Whoever we played in the in the semi finals of Europe tonight, it was Leverkusen who are you know, obviously a Champions League team and play that way and uh, are going to be that next year. So I've got to say, I think that uh, I think that we we've, we've had three fabulous years, and I'm hoping that there's still a chance that we could make it four. Jack, uh, I didn't think the officiating was too good in the second half. Do you? Agree? Oh, I'm, I'm glad. No, just I'm <laughs> just glad. But but I thought it was a bit of a silly question. Because I actually think that he knows it was it was very poor and he was just getting me to say it. So I was just hoping that he might have said it himself. Would you say it as well? Yes, I would. Yeah, definitely. Mike? A more specific question. A more specific question on the officiating, David. Was it the sort of game which deserved 11 yellow cards on the pitch plus two red cards for people on the bench? Well, I don't. I, I watch a lot of Spanish football, and I've worked in Spain, so I've got an idea of what it's like. But if that's the way it is, you wouldn't be wanting to watch too many Spanish games at the moment. Any more? Yep, just one here. Uh, unlucky tonight. Really, really impressive. I thought in the first half. But I wonder if you had any regrets about the the two games. Any moments? Any tactics? Any changes that you wish you'd have made? <laughs> no, I thought tactically we'd done a brilliant job in the first game. We got away from home to Leverkusen. We got to 83 minutes and we hadn't conceded. And we'd done a brilliant job. If anything, we might have ran out a little bit of fresh legs in a couple of games. <coughs> Excuse me. But I've been quite limited to what, what changes I'm, I'm able to make. Even tonight, you know, we don't have Calvin Phillips. I don't have Dinos. don't have Paqueta. Some of them were own fault, but some of them through injury. But tonight, I think the biggest thing is we just didn't get the second goal when we in the first half. But I thought we played really well and we ran out of energy in the second half. There's no doubt about that. But uh, it wasn't it wasn't for not the want of trying. And as I said, if I was going to go out of Europe, I was going to go out playing like that. And I thought the players were, were great tonight. One final one from Russia. Uh, David, I'm all disappointed to, to be out of the competition. You're still on the hunt for Europe <coughs> in the league. So how will you go about motivating the team in the coming weeks? Well, I'm, I've just said to them that I think they've played really well tonight. Other games I tell them when they don't play well. Tonight they've played well, so I'm hoping that we can pick that up, pick up the levels of the performance. 
tonight they showed exactly what they can do and uh, we just need to take it on and, and go again you know it's a, it's a tough turnaround as we've said many many times but you know other clubs would, would love nights that we've just had we've just had three years in a row with one more group three years in a row you know we've had quarter final semi final finals in the three years so it's uh, I hope we can do it again OK, we'll do the huddle outside, guys. Thank you.